Rabbi Landis from Partners in Torah of Cleveland. Pesach night is one of the probably two most auspicious nights of the Jewish year, together only with Kol Nidre night. And it's a night that we put so much effort into, no matter where we are on the spectrum of observance, no matter how much we do. But we all have a Seder, which takes cooking and cleaning and preparing and bringing the family together, possibly traveling, to get to that auspicious night of the Seder when our family comes together and reads through that Haggadah that's unanimously used throughout the Jewish world and has been for the past 2,000 years or more. But how do we prepare for the Seder? How do we prepare for the Seder beyond just cooking and cleaning and traveling and schlepping and doing everything that's necessary to make that Seder happen? It's interesting. I think as most of us probably think back to the Seders we've been to in our lives, with our family, with our friends, we can think of certain trademarks that are always there. You know, for example, you're going along in the Seder, and at some point, Uncle Murray, or Cousin Boris, or whoever it is, says, Okay, everybody, let's roll, because we gotta get to the meal. And the Seder starts moving at rapid pace, reading through the Haggadah as fast as possible, so you can get to the meal, and you can enjoy the Seder. Or if it's like my Seder growing up, my grandfather, Olav Shalom, would always lead the Seder from the head of the table, and he had that special Haggadah that was pre-marked by my great-grandmother, Olav Shalom, with the family Masora, the family tradition, to show what parts do we skip. And my grandfather would say, okay, says we skip this part, we'd skip on to the next part, and that was the same thing every year. And I'm sure many of us can think of the Seder as the same thing every year. What happened last year that's just going to happen again this year? I want to challenge all of you, as you're preparing for your Seder, as you're taking all the time, putting in all the effort, spending all the money, put some effort into what's really important. We have an obligation, Pesach night, the Yigaratel Abincha B'Yom HaHu, say to your children on that day, teach them what happened, tell them the story of the Exodus from Egypt. It's the one night of the year where we are obligated to speak to our progeny, to our children and our grandchildren, and they are obligated to listen. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do? Are you going to tell them the same story that you told them year after year after year, skipping the same parts, doing the same thing, going through the same motions? Is that how you're going to do it? Or are you going to take the time to prepare for the Seder? to look into a Haggadah, to open it up, to read a story, to read something meaningful. There's so many meaningful Haggadahs out there nowadays in English, in Hebrew, in French, in Spanish, in Swahili, in Pig Latin, whatever language you want, you can find a Haggadah. Take the time, take a few minutes. If you don't like to read, there's audio classes available online about the Haggadah. Take the time, prepare for the Seder, prepare something different so that when you go to the Seder, you'll have something to say to your kids, something to say to your grandkids, something to make it meaningful so they will remember why we are Jews and why we are celebrating the Passover Seder. The time is now. Take the time. Take a few minutes every day. Read something. Listen to something. And you can make it that this year, you will be Makayim. You will fulfill what it says in the Haggadah, Bechol, Dor, Vador, in every generation. Chayev Adam Liros as Atzma, a person is obligated to see themselves, Kihilu Hu Yotzim in as if they went out of Egypt. You know, there's an old line that there's two different types of doctors in the world. There's a doctor with 20 years experience, and there's a doctor with one year experience 20 times over. I feel that most of our satyrs have been that, one Seder, 20 times over, 30 times over, 40 times over, 80 times over. Let's make it that this year, that this year the Seder is different. Let's make it that this year the Seder is meaningful and that our kids remember it. Have a Chag Koshev Sameach, have a happy Passover. <laughs> Love is saying,